Hey everybody, I'm Daniel, and this is another episode of One Up You. This is, of course, the show where we compete to see who can one up who. We're gonna be playing a game that I'm quite nostalgic about. This game is Crash Bandicoot 2. Why number two? Because I've actually never, never played the first one. Today I've got Nate, and we've got a newcomer to the show, and uh, two of them are gonna play through a level and see who can break the most boxes and find the most secrets. We'll see who will one up who. <laughs> My name is uh, Christian, I'm one of Nate's co-workers. I've been playing video games since I was five years old. I consider myself a jack of all trades, but a master of none, which means I'll play any genre, but I'm not fantastic at it. <laughs> Means he so. sucks at games. <laughs> Let's see how I do. Snapchat. I'm Nathan. Why? And I just Snapchat you. Christian, you ever play Crash Bandicoot before? Uh, once. Yeah, did you know it's based on a true story? <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> Obviously, you haven't read enough history about World War II. <laughs> Dude, it's gotten so hot in here. Check this sh out right here. Just look at this. This is just tit sweat from a big fat guy right here. That's what's happening in this area because of Daniel's house. It's just disgusting. Yeah. My kookadok, or whatever it's called. <laughs> what are those things called? How do you pronounce that? Kookadok. Kookadok. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I hit them away. I, I don't need some peaches, man. I got life. Oh. Whoa. Daniel, do giant purple birds exist in real life so that I can go and kill them? Yes. Actually, they probably do, eh? <laughs> what about giant purple flying birds? Called flamingos. Do flamingos fly? <laughs> yeah. How do you think they move around? They have feet, idiot. They also yeah. definitely don't look like those. Look more like vultures. Are vultures purple? No, exactly. But they're also cyborgs. These are cyborgs? Vultures are cyborgs? No, no, no. Current modern day vultures. Clearly cyborgs. Boom. This is why I'm hot. Actually, the lights in this, the, the set lights are as well I'm on. And the fact that I'm, I'm a thin guy. Oh, shoot! Okay. Yeah, Kooka Dog. Oh, that, ooh, ooh, ooh. Which way is the secret way? I don't know. One of them's the secret way. I'll choose this way. Christian, tell me about your day. My day was fantastic. Wow. There we have it, folks. Christian's day. It was fantastic. Oh, sh**. How do I get out of here? Oh, bye bye Bonus time. I shouldn't have played first. Christian will now know all the bonus and secret areas. Yep. Oh, that was... That was closer well, than your mom. the other way around. If you find them, and then... Um... Yeah, but I'm obviously gonna find them before him. <laughs> oh shit! Ice. Ice. Yo, check it. Now they're there. Ooh, bet you didn't see that one coming. Just like you, your mom didn't see me coming. But she got got something in her eye. Uh, you talking to the dead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to, but I hope it's someone not related to me. Okay, how many rat pits do I need to go into? What is this, Doug's home? Oh, you know, the level's called the pits. You know that, right? <laughs> I, don't know this is a I don't think Nate's gonna do well on the time bonus in this one. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> 
I was right at the end, too. Oh, oh my god, I'm missing 20. What? <laughs> oh, dude, my nips are itchy, man. Gotta get in here, dude. Dude, just jump in there, man. Just go nuts. Just crawl in. <laughs> just, give it a, just give it a little crawl in here. Dude, this is just disgusting. Crawling in my skin. Shut up, Doug! Who do you think you are? Doug. The lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots? No, that's not, that's not Stone Temple Pilots. No, but the, it's the same lead singer. Chester's now the lead singer of Stone Temple Pilots. That's, that was the joke. Oh, he's taking the left way. One of my friends um, was actually recently in an accident and um, he lost his left hand. Don't worry though, he's all right. Hey, oh! Yo, man, do you think it's like cybernetically and physically possible to have turtles with bus sauce on the back? Why are you going back this way? To get all the oh, flipping boxes the that boxes. Jew! Oh my gosh. But no, seriously. You got like, look at those things. Is that technically, is that physically possible? Sure. The right robots. Yeah, if you got all the right robots, he says. I jumped you, liar. This idiot. That's right, I think I got enough though. Alright, he's gunning for it. It's time for the Crush Bandicoot Show. No. Can you imagine? This is a Street Fighter prequel. Yo, wait, wait. Do those TNT count as barrels that have to explode? They might. Because that there was also invisible boxes before that too. You done messed up. So you missed them too. Shut up, <coughs> oh, man. Tell me your uh, your fondest memory of video games. He doesn't have any because he always loses. Forty-seven. Me. We all know who the real winner is. We're gonna start with their base score of the amount of boxes. The crates, the boxes that they break, times 10. So, Nate, you broke 32, makes your base score 320, and Christian, 47 boxes, so 470 points. Next, we'll go with the amount of baddies dispatched and multiply those by 10 as well. Nate and Christian, you both killed 11 enemies. Every one up that you get, and they're quite common in this game, is 50 points. Nate, you got four one-ups. Christian, you got six. Number of deaths would be minus 50 points each. Nate, you died once, so that's a 50-point loss for you. Christian died twice, so that's 100 points. Every time you get one of those Aku, Aku masks, Kukadok, you get 50 points, so that's 100 points each. After we add all of the points and the bonuses up, Nate, your score is 680, and Christian, yours is 880, making Christian today's champion. First time on the show, and you won up Nate! Oh, you catch this. That's the thing. All I gotta say is uh, thank you, Daniel, for having me on the show, and thanks, Nate, for inviting me and getting your butt kicked, so I look forward to being brought back if uh, the chance ever arises, and facing my next challenge. Right on! Thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you next time when Kukadon.